How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to do a quick review on my Max Catch Salt Pro Rod with the Max Catch Sparta 810 reel. You can get these from MaxCatchFishing.com which is Max Catch's official website. They sell it other places but if you order directly from Max Catch on their website they offer a lifetime repair warranty on the rod and reel which they don't do on any other locations or sources to buy it from. So definitely worth getting from them. They also have free shipping, no tax, at least to the U.S. And also they always throw in a bunch of freebies. So I got this thing as a combo. And with the combo, you get some extra goodies. I'll go over to, you know, the stuff that comes with the combo first. And then we'll get on to the rod and reel. So you get five flies. You get a deceiver. Or, well, you get a fly box, a small one. You get a deceiver. You get a schminnow, schminnow, whatever, little bait fish. You get a bonefish biter, little tiny guy, size four, I believe. You get a needle fish, which these things are awesome. They're great, little super light, cast really easy, yet they present a good size bait fish body. So, love these things. You get a tarpon fly. It is a... Very common color for tarpon around here. You get a line cleaner, line straightener. With a nice leather with a brass. So that's pretty cool. You get some stainless steel forceps. Which these are the locking kind. And it does have serrated teeth. Squeeze, open it up. Easy one hand operation. And then if you want these little areas right here interlock. So you can grab onto the hook. Lock it on, pull out, unlock, let go. Easy one hand operation. Stainless, you don't have to worry about them rusting. So that's really good. You get some nippers with a knot tool on it and a little punch for your, to clean out your hook eyes. So if they have any trash in them. I tie my own flies and uh, when I tie them, I get a lot of nonsense in there. They use a lot of uh, glue and cement and stuff, so helps keep them clean. They come with a zinger, so I attached it to the nippers. You get a 50 meter spool of 0x tippet. You get three 12 foot 0x tapered leaders. You get a thing, a fly line pouch and spool. That way if you take off the fly line you can put it in there, put it on your shelf, just write on with a marker what it is and the spool holder itself says what it is. But right on the outside of the package, throw it on the shelf with all the rest of them or in a drawer. You're good to go. It comes with salt water, weight forward, fly line in whatever weight your rod and is. That way you know appropriate for what you're using. This is Weight forward 9F, full floating, and it comes with 100 yards of 30 pound braided backing. I do wish they included a bigger spool of backing. I haven't actually added, I was going to put, because this will hold, this is the 810 Sparta. It'll hold 230 meters of 30 pound backing on it. And uh, wish I had more. I didn't have any 30 pound, I have 20 pound. I have tons of that, but um. Yeah, I wish I had 30 pound put on there, but 100 yards is enough for pretty much all the fishing I do. I'd just rather it be a little bit more full, but that's not a big deal. And I can always add some more backing if I need to. Um, that's what that comes with. Uh, you get a little neoprene reel cover, and it will go over the reel and wrap around the rod while it's still on it so you can protect it. It comes with the rod sock that you see. Says what it is on the outside of it. It comes with a travel tube, and a travel tube has an additional pouch on the side. You can throw some tippets, throw whatever you want in there, open it up, and you have your slots for different ones. Leave your reel on the rod and zip it up. It does have a carry handle and a strap so you can attach it directly to luggage or whatever you want to do, or you can just throw it over your shoulder. 
pretty self-explanatory on that. All right, now let's go over the rod on this thing. So the Salt Pros is their flagship saltwater rod. They make them in anywhere from a seven weight up to 12 weight. They're all nine foot, all four piece rods. They ha all have the same, it's a chameleon pearl finish on it. So it looks beautiful in the sun, unfortunately. I'm in the Florida Panhandle and we have some horrible weather right now or I'd be outside showing this thing off or I'd actually be out there fishing it right now. But it is uh, amazing looking in the sun. You might be able to see some of that sparkle. It's really nice and it has different colors and different angles. Really good stuff. You have full whales grip, triple A cork with a fighting butt, hard anodized aluminum reel seat. Nice finish. You have double up locking. So, you know, you tighten the top one down right here. Tighten that down. And then you tighten the second one. Locks in. And you don't have to worry about your reel moving around, twisting, getting loose while you're fighting a monster. You know, you're ready to go. You have no hook keeper on the Salt Pros. So, you can use Max Catch on this little. Thing right here they have that little o-ring you can wrap your leader around that and it will lock in place or do like i do put it on the hook eye actually not on the eye hook it right here the hook leg fork whatever i'm not sure what that's called but yeah i hook it right here the fly no worries on your rod sections your stripping guides are fuji alkanite guides so they're fully salt water safe ready to go very high quality you have Alignment dots and on this rod and so far all max catch rods I've used the alignment dots actually do line up so everything is nice and straight when you actually line them up. That's not always the case on a lot of rods so they did a really good job with that. They do print the length of the rod and what weight it is so if you have multiple salt pros you don't end up mixing up any of these pieces. They got you covered. Every single one of the sections has a weight and length on it. No mix-ups there. You have ready to go salt waterproof snake guides, hard anodized, same thing, same alignment dots with the length and weight. And then on your top section, you have an oversized eye. That way your line doesn't get slowed down. You don't have to worry about it restricting the line in any way. It lets you get the fastest, most accurate cast possible. So you, when you're fighting the wind, you can get your lure where or your fly where you want it to go. And uh, just it doesn't offer any restriction at all when you're casting. It makes it a, you know, this thing casts like a dream. Beautiful setup. Works really well. They make them, they are IM-10. And it is a 40T SK Carbon. It's a seven layer layup they call it the max command and that's or that's the technique they use it offers 35 percent increased strength over a equal weight rod using traditional layup so this is a nine weight with a fighting butt and it weighs 4.65 ounces which is 132 grams i believe so somewhere around around 132 grams this is 4.65 ounces for sure which is uh really really good for this length and this strength, it's really good. It's a fast action rod, offers beautiful response, beautiful sensitivity, fighting. It kind of, it's the perfect, I use eight weight, I use six weight. Um, I want to get one of these in a 11 weight probably, and I definitely want to get a seven weight. I think the next one I'm going to get is going to be a seven weight, and I'm probably going to pick up a Predator in 10 weight. Next rod, Salt Pro and 7 weight, and I'll be kind of golden. These things are, they're amazing. And they look good. To give you an idea, this is a, I'm going to pull out a Reddington. This is a Reddington Vice. So this rod, it's an 8 weight, 9 foot, 4 piece. So same, it's actually a lighter weight than this, but um, same class kind of rod. And you can see the difference on that. 
No, this one's just a single up locking. The finish on it is kind of not very nice. It's this rod right here. It costs about double what the Max Catch cost, and uh, yeah, I don't really use this one anymore. It does have some use. But even with the limited use this rod has, it already looks so much worse condition than the Max Catch does. Max Catch is just the build quality is better, looks better, fishes better. You can see you know, just simple stuff like you know this. You got a little scratch right there, but yeah, it's a really nice rod. Now let's uh, talk about the reel. All right, so this is the Sparta. It's a 810. They also make it in a 79. In the past, they offered this in two other sizes. They offered it in a 35 and a 57, I believe. But currently, you can get it in a 79 or a 810. This is 810. The 810 has a 60 millimeter inside diameter and a 100 millimeter outside diameter. So it's an extra large arbor, is what it's considered. It has a V shaped arbor or spool that way it fits extra backing and this will hold 230 yards of 30 pound backing about 500 or so yards of 50 pound gel spun as uh no and that leaves plenty of room for a fly line you have it's 6061 t6 uh, cnc machine aluminum so super strong extremely corrosion resistant it looks beautiful Everything on it's metal. The drag in it is a, it's called the Max SDS. It's a sealed drag system. It's a 100% sealed drag. And this is zero maintenance. When you get done fishing, hit it with a garden hose. Just spray it off, or not really high pressure. Just rinse it off real quick. Get the salt off of it, and you're good to go. Let it dry out. And that's all you have to do. They don't have plastic hardware. It has a car has carbon fiber, stainless steel, and a cork drag washer. And the drag, you can hear the clicks. Drag on this thing. Once you set it, you don't have to worry about it changing while you're fishing. And you, know, you start fighting the fish, and the drag starts tightening up or loosening up, like some reels do. This one, where you put it, is where it's going to stay, and it's you know super stable. Does great, sounds great, moves you know, nice and precise. You have Captain Nut to change the spool. All you do, well, first let me bring in all this extra leader. To change the spool, you just loosen that up, lift it off, and then inside here, which you can remove, and there's instructions on Max Catch's website to take this off. You'll flip a one-way bearing in there, and the bearing is made in Germany, so good quality bearing. You flip the bearing, you can change it from left to right, but that's the seal drag system, fully waterproof. You can see the machining on that. It's very, very well done, but you just throw it back on, tighten this down, and you are back in business right here. They put a, there we go, there's an O-ring on here, so you can wrap your line around there, and it'll grab, the leader will grab onto it, and you can keep it there so it's not flopping around in the breeze like mine is, but just wrap it around and hook to it. I'm not too concerned with it, I just leave it like that. Has never caused me issues. These reels, you can get them in black or this blue that I have here and uh, nice smooth it's a uh, extremely well balanced I don't have room in here I mean this is my fly tying bench that I'm doing this review on because I can't go outside and do it right now weather is horrible I will be trying to do some fishing tomorrow though but for now figured I'd do a quick review from the fly bench and uh if there's any questions on any of this, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer. Oh, wait, one more. So, this is a same size Reddington. This is the Reddington ID. It's a 
same size or same weight reel. I don't know if you can pick it up in camera, but the Max Catch is definitely a larger arbor with the same capacity. This Reddington, this knob is all plastic. Nothing right here to grab the leader. This is all plastic and it's not very smooth <laughs> about anything. Um, there's no CNC machining on this at all. It's either plastic or cast aluminum. And this reel costs more than this reel. This Reddington rod costs more than the Max Catch rod, yet the Max Catch rod and reel are so much better quality. So, and when you get them, you can get, you know, that doesn't count all the additional goodies that you get. I think the Reddington combo in 8 weight, it's just the rod reel, some very generic fly line and backing was a little over $300. The Max Catch with everything it has was 270 ish, a little less than 270. So the Max Catch is definitely the way to go. It's worth, you no. Know, the rod alone is worth more than that price. The reel is worth more than that price. Getting them together plus all this additional stuff, you can't go wrong. It's you know, great. Plus, with their warranty, you know, it, it's a win win. Well, if you have any questions, then feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. All right, have a great day. Oh, last thing, they also throw in a hat. The hat comes with it if you order from their website, which is a nice little bonus. So yeah, once again, comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer. All right.